All right, uh, new chapter, right? Chapter three. Uh, we're talking about pure substances, properties of pure substances. Uh, what is a pure substance? A pure substance is a substance whose chemical uh, composition is the same throughout. Uh, for instance, uh, nitrogen, um, helium, uh, even molecules like H2O. H2O is the same throughout. It, it is homogeneous. Uh, CO2. Uh, so some of these are going to be pure substances that we are going to be looking at uh, and talking about. Um, air could be a pure substance uh, if it's homogeneous. So something that is homogeneous if it has a fixed chemical composition throughout. So it could be molecule. It could be a mixture like air. Um, but you know, a lot of the times we're we're looking at H two O. We're looking at air. Even like a refrigerant, um, refrigerant 134A, we'll, we'll look at a lot. Those are pure, pure substances. Now, a pure substance, let's see here, uh, could actually be a mixture of phases. A pure substance, can I write this? A pure substance could be a mixture of phases. Uh, for example, a liquid water uh, water vapor mixture. Uh, could be um, a pure substance, okay? If water is boiling or if, if water is changing from liquid to vapor, we've got a mixture of water that is liquid and vapor. As long as the liquid and vapor have the same chemical composition, um, as it's boiling, it still is a pure substance. Okay, so uh, a pure substance could be a mixture of phases, as long as as long as everything in the mixture, as long as everything in the mixture vaporizes at the same temperature. For example, air, if air for somehow was changing from the phases, um, all the different um, all the different chemicals that are in the air might vaporize at different temperatures and so if one vaporized before the other then it's no longer a constant fixed chemical composition throughout. So, uh, But one thing that is, is water. Water and refrigerant, those we can have a mixture of wa water and vapor, um, and it is still a pure substance. Okay, obviously the phases of a pure substance would be solid, liquid, and gas. Uh, you know that, but, but we, we uh, want to make a note that for solids and liquids, there's not much change in volume with heat uh, compared to a gas. Very high change in volume. Very large change in volume with heat. Okay, we'll talk about this later, but for gases, Gases are kind of very different than liquids and solids, obviously. Um, we can treat them differently. Um, and sometimes we can use uh, the ideal gas equations uh, sometimes we can use the ideal gas equations uh, but never use those idle gas equations for liquids or solids, right? I mean, that seems obvious, but sometimes we're just not thinking. If it is a liquid, don't use idle gas equations. Or never use idle gas equations on liquid vapor mixtures. Never use idle gas equations on liquid vapor mixtures. Anytime there's any liquid in there, 
it's no longer an ideal gas at all. Um, so don't try to use any equations that in the future that we will derive um, as ideal gas equations. That's obvious, but I, I didn't emphasize it the first few times I taught it. See, way too many ideal gas equations on a liquid vapor uh, problem. Um, so, all right, so we're going to be looking at things that maybe are changing phases, um, solids, liquids, and gases.